Considering whether your food is bursting with life force or not is something you may not have thought about before when making your food choices, let alone for your pets. Given this makes a massive difference to its nutritional value, I reckon it's something we need to know more about, which is why I'm joined by Dr. Edward, the healing vet. Edward, many pet owners are still feeding their dogs and cats a diet in highly processed dry and wet foods. How is this impacting on their health? Not well. In fact, I think the best way to explain that is to talk about the differences I see in my practice when I get animals that are on a processed diet off it. What we see is shinier coat, reduction in itching and inflammation, weight loss, and generally just a whole lot happier, healthier, more vital animal. Obviously, we know that kibble needs to be, you know, cooked at high temperatures and it has a lot of starch so that it binds together. But why is this food irradiated as well? So the irradiation process is when they basically zap the food with high intensity radiation. And the reason for this is to sterilize the food to kill all the bacteria in it. Now the problem with this is that it also kills the life force in the food and turns it into what I call a dead food. The thing is, it doesn't kill all the bacteria either, does it? Not generally. Something like 72 times by weight processed food is recalled due to contamination with bacteria than raw foods. Why then are vets still, you know, prescribing this for their clients all the time? I think it's because a lot of the education of the vets is driven by these massive multinational, multi-billion dollar processed food companies. Mitzi and Pearl get a fresh, raw, whole foods, buff diet. They've been on that for about five or six years. It just has made such a difference to their wellbeing, it's not funny. And for our new viewers, do you want to explain what BARF entails? Biologically appropriate raw food, which is what Big Dog is, basically. That's right, and what we've got here, we've got the muscle meat, the bones, sardines are always really good. Veggies. Yes, lots of healthy foods. All that good stuff that obviously has got a life force in yes. it. And is much better for our pets as well. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, if you want to know more about what Edward does and some of the great work there, visit thehealingvet.com. And to learn more about the big dog raw food diets and how it can benefit your pet, visit their website.